So in the midst of all of this um, kind of debate and um, you know disinformation campaigns and, and online discussions and, and controversy around net neutrality, one of the really interesting things that happened was the Annenberg Center here at USC had a research group called Networked Publics and they um, decided to address this issue from a variety of perspectives, uh, you know, kind of policy analysis, cultural studies, cultural theory, and uh, technology. And they issued a set of um, what they called the Annenberg Center Principles for Network Neutrality. And they actually, Don, would you mind, um, could you pull that, pull up that slide? And I'll keep talking. Uh, so they uh, published these online. They were a set of five principles designed to be very kind of fair and balanced in their treatment of the issues and recognizing the priorities uh, and the needs of each, you know, uh, kind of industry constituent and the importance that the telecommunications industries get compensated for using their physical infrastructure and that the content providers, the content creators and distributors are not, um, you know, forced to deal with a, a tiered system and, and actually have, uh, not have direct control over what's um, going to be um, flowing over the uh, tubes. Um, and they, so they published these online and, um, you know, tried to be as succinct as they could. Um, and one of the things that I thought was really interesting was that in addition to doing this, which is more or less standard practice among people who attempt to affect um, policy, legis policy and legislation. Um, they also made a series of videos which represented the viewpoints contained in their principles. So um, they had one that was uh, a video, and it was done in the style of the Epic 2015 video that we saw. Um, so projecting, you know, 10 years into the future, an internet that was entirely regulated, one that was entirely unregulated, and then one that struck a kind of middle ground balance that they called a mesh network. Um, and I can't uh, explain very well the technology behind mesh networking, um, but it's uh, something that, that attempts to kind of like negotiate a middle ground between an entirely um, infrastructure driven, um, you know, physical infrastructure driven net and one that is dependent, is more transient and nodes that uh, exist while they need to exist and use different parts of the, um, the Wi-Fi spectrum and things like that. Um, so I, the thing that was somewhat unfortunate about these videos, which were very nicely done and, and very thoughtful, and um, if you watch them all the way through, very persuasive, but the problem was that they were uh, in total nearly a half an hour of uh, video, which is quite a lot for um, the conventions of internet video. Um, so I can't, even in this context, ask you to watch the whole thing. Um, but maybe I can get uh, Adon, if you wouldn't mind uh, pulling up maybe a couple of the a couple of the Annenberg Center videos, and uh, maybe we can just look at a little bit of each. Let's start with the Telco one, and then do the um, the unregulated one, and let's let's end with a little bit of the mesh network one, just so you can get a kind of a, a feel for what they're doing. 